Okay, we're down here again in the round pen um, with G Rock, I'm calling her G Rock. Uh, it's been a week since I worked there. It's not ideal, but it is what it is. So we'll see how she uh, responds today about um, you know paying attention to me, facing me, following me around. Then I'll put the halter on and I'll um, ask what the you know this will feel. Let's ask her to move just off of the feel. Um, maybe we'll do it tomorrow, just to show you that uh, if, you, if you stay more consistent, how, how sharper they are. All right, let's get her going. All right, I'm just gonna see how she responds to me just ask her and leave with the flag. See how quick she wants to stop. I'm not gonna ask her just yet. I'm gonna let her decide. And if she, okay, see, she decided right there. Oh, if she didn't, then I'd maybe ask her. But I want them to want to do it themselves. Then I'll just approach her again, rub her on the head, neck. Good girl. Still a little head shy. Would rather me not touch her on the head. That's good. I'm gonna do it again. So shake the flag. If she leaves. That's okay. Oh. See, she decided on her own to face me. Stop. So she did it rather quick, and I didn't work on that in the pin when I caught her. I just went up there, kind of trapped her again, just because I wanted her to wanted you to see on the video how how quick she respond today. And this is a week later, so it's not super fresh in her mind. Okay, let's see if she'll follow me around. Not yet. I'm just gonna keep moving. Sometimes uh, as they're facing you, as you can see them turning to, towards you, you can keep walking and they'll just kind of catch on and keep on following you. Not yet. He doesn't mind the tarp at all. I don't remember which way was the better way. I think it was the right. This has been a week, I can't remember. But as you do it more and more, of course, both ways will end up being good. I didn't like how she wanted to stop. I wanted her to come to me. So I'll just let her go. Okay, same thing. Ooh, feeling good. She's gonna have to make more of an effort if she wants to stop. And I mean, uh, make effort of coming toward me. Feeling good. OK. 
care. She made more of an effort right there, if you can see. And she's... She's looking towards the other horses. Good girl. She didn't mind me rubbing her head right there. Yeah, that was really good right there. She, she just walked right up to me. And and there's horses that'll do that. They'll they'll go around. You'll send them around you, and they'll just come right back, right up to you. Isn't kite kind of like that? He kind of he kind of comes up to you fast, huh? Yeah. So some horses I'll just come. I mean, sometimes it's kind of scary if uh, if you don't really know the horse. They and they come up pretty quick. I mean they. They'd be loping or trotting up to you. There she goes, moves her hind end away. But she said, nah, not yet. See, she even walked a few steps towards us. Girl. I'm gonna rub her a little bit more. Let her know that I'm a pretty good deal. That she'll just stay right here. I can I'll rub her or let her stand there. So I'll offer her a good deal. If she doesn't like the good deal yet, she will later. So she remembered a good amount from a week ago. So I'd rather not teach them to just run around. And that's kind of what people will do when they get in around the pin and put their horse in around pin because they want their horse to get some exercise. They, Teach them to run around and run around and run around. And, and there ain't, well, I, I don't think the horse knows that there's a purpose. He doesn't know it. He, he's supposed to get exercise. Well, I guess maybe some do. But then they're, they're crappy to catch when you get in the round pen. You have to let them run around forever. Yeah, let's just go around. I think this way was her, the way she wasn't as good as the left. So I'm gonna rub her a bunch on this left side. Like I said, on the other side, I was giving her a good deal, so I'll rub her a bunch over here. And if she moves backwards or kind of moves around, doesn't leave, that's fine. I just move with her. Let's see, let's see what she thinks now. She still want to leave me. Now what I can do is when she leaves the next time, I mean she doesn't even go a whole circle and stops and faces. So what I could do is I could make her go go another circle or two without letting her stop. And that would get her 
really thinking that, uh, man, that's, that is a better deal. I would rather just stay right there. So when she faces me this way, I'm just going to let her leave. I'm going to actually tell her to go. And we're going to go a couple of rounds. All right, I'll let her stop now. Still wants to leave. Now I'm gonna go this way she's pretty good at. And then I'm gonna go the other way. Just to, so she's like, oh, I, I'm good at this way. I can go around and I don't have to leave. Then I'll go the other way. See, she, she thinks the same thing. Still like now. She's a little more nervous me touching her on this side, which it seemed like the other day she wasn't. I'm just gonna catch her just because I want to do other stuff with her and that you can always just work on as you go but this will also help her to come on and just go around me too what I'll do right here Okay, so she can feel when I pick up the lead. You see, you see her head move. And I want her to move towards that pressure, and if she's kind of sticky right there, I'll I'll help her move with the flag and just move off of it. And I'd rather there always be a float in that rope and she doesn't pull on me or get too close to me. Got scared right there. And I can roll her hind end around. 
Same thing right here. See, so she can feel that. Need her to move off of it. And she did good right there. Let her have her move her front a little bit more. So she didn't move her front. Like she got sticky right there. I'd, I'd ask her with this flag. And she moves it. That's all. That's the only reason I got the flag. Just to get them to move their feet. I'm asking her to go around. She's moved a little bit. So if she doesn't leave, I just ask her with the flag. And she went around right there really good. There wasn't a lot of uh, tension in this lead. It was a pretty good float. So we're just working on her feel. I gotta feel her as she feels me. And you'll see people lunging their horse. And they're all the way out on this end of this lead. And those horses still have pressure on it. I'll roll her hind end around. Yeah, that was good. I'll just rub her with this flag. So she knows it won't, won't get her or hurt her. And this will help also when you go saddle one. And just be able to touch him everywhere. Instead of using your hand, you can use this so they don't kick you or jump on you. Because if, if she was really scared of it, I mean, she'd move away. Or she'd kick out of it if I put it on her leg. Then you kick rubber with your hand. See, she's a little bit nervous about that. So I'll just keep rubbing her until she stops. Now if I was to just let, let off of her, she'd think that was the right thing to do. But I'll just keep putting pressure on her, doing what I'm doing. She'll have to figure out that it's all right. And once she stopped, I, I quit, quit what I was doing. There. And then that lets her know that that's what I was looking for. Okay, let's ask her to go around me again. Put pressure there. She stepped a little bit. She doesn't like going around this way as much as the other. She kind of wanted to get kind of close. There, she moved off better. Thing this side. Come on, go, go, go. See, she wants to stop. Well, I want to make it so she responds when I ask her. When I ask her to stop, she stops. When I ask her to go, she goes. And I know she wants to stop right here. I'm gonna ask her right here. Front.
that the train? Yeah. Hmm. So she should be getting lighter. That was pretty good. She moved her front. I didn't even have to ask her to flag. She should be getting lighter where I don't have to ask her so much. That's kind of what I'm wanting to do. Well, that's the whole purpose of that, is to really just get them to move off of a feel rather than you having to really ask them. So that'd be the whole purpose, not just the I don't, I don't know what other people think, but yeah, those usually see them going around and around and around and around. I do it just so they can f work off of a feel. See, I asked her to move her front, she moved her front. Go this other way. And that's all you want, or that's all I want. Then you can do the same thing with the hind. Ask him to move the hind. Hind foot. Hind. Hind. Good. Same thing again. Front. Front. I'm gonna wait till she crosses over. She's stepping behind. Front. Front. There. That's what you do when you're on top of them. So this prepares them for, you know, when you're riding them, you should be able to move that hind, that front. So let's go this other way and ask for the hind. Hind, hind, hind. Good. Same thing, front, front, stepping behind. There, that was pretty good. So she just worked off of a feel right there. And as you did it, she could even get better at just going around you. You could um, stand right here and ask her to go around and she'd go around you softly off of a feel. Uh, eventually you pick up to a trot and a lope. A lot of people just want to jump into a lope right off, you know, and they're chasing their horse around for some reason. And same thing, backing up again. Back, one foot. Another foot, another foot, another foot. That was good. So that's all I'm gonna do. Some people might think that that wasn't very much in it. I mean, it wasn't, but there was a lot of good there. Um, a lot of a lot of changing, um, feeling. She was feeling me, I was feeling her. We'll uh, pick up tomorrow, I'll we'll do a, we'll video it tomorrow again. So, so yeah, we want, we want them to also, you know, enjoy it, not be resentful. And you gotta build them up. So if you can build them up, of course they'll continue to work, work for you. And that's what we're going to want also, them to work for you. That was good. She doesn't mind me touching her head so much. This morning she didn't like it too much. Shied away. So there's a lot of good good stuff there. We'll build on it again tomorrow. Or a week. See, that was a week. So it shows that, um, you know, they still remember stuff. They retain stuff. But, man, if you're, you know couple times a week or every day they'll be good they'll get really good as long as you're good as long as you're feeling them you're good <laughs>